So when you live as close to the North Pole as I do, in late April, the temperatures are pretty much like this. And this, folks, is the temperature in my garage. I mean, it has been colder than a witch's, uh, let's say nose. So in lieu of a beautiful riding day today, we are going to install this adjustable kickstand on Hope. Today on Kachi's Kid. <laughs> So within your box, you're going to find four items. Of course, there's your kickstand. You have your spring, your bolt to hold the spring in place, and your mounting bolt. But I'm going to tell you now, there are no directions. Now, I think I'm going to keep my kickstand at this level, but to adjust it, you go ahead and loosen the four bolts. It will come apart like that, and then you can move it to make your adjustment. Now, one thing I am going to recommend is using Loctite on these bolts. I think that's gonna hold it together a little bit longer and under more pressure. So now let's go ahead, put our foot back on and put it on the bike. And let me just mention to anybody who doesn't frequent the channel, I know this center stand's torn up and that is exactly why we're doing this because I wanna remove the center stand completely. As far as doing work on the bike, I like to jack it up anyway. So the first thing I'm gonna do is attempt to remove this spring and now the holding bolt. Now, after cleaning it up a little bit, I actually do want to do a sizing before I bolt it on. And by far, the hardest part of this, now the spring installation. Twenty four hours later. So now that the spring is in place, we can see that it works. Now I can see right now that my footing doesn't perfectly square down with the ground, so there most likely will be some adjustments made. But for the purposes of what I needed to do, it does it. So again, this is Kachi's kid, hoping that I'll be able to get out there this weekend. But until then, folks. You know I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace, y'all.